You know, during nights like tonight, you hope that the most vulnerable people are safe, like the unsheltered. At least one person has already called for help over a potential frostbite. The night team's Lee Waldman spent the day with local organizations that are helping people who live outside. I worry about how cold it's going to get tonight. Outreach with Christian Assistance Ministries is meeting people where they're at. I got a Snuggie. On the street. Is that okay? bringing valuable, even life-saving supplies to where the unsheltered are. Even though it doesn't look like much, um, these have emergency hand warmers in there. So these are what we give out, especially to put all over their bodies to avoid hypothermia. With temperatures dropping to near freezing, Valerie Salas is hoping to convince unsheltered people get them, get them some shelter and, and services. like Gerald Evan Sorensen to go inside. Uh, tonight, uh, we're doing our best. The uh, cold weather is wet. And, uh, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking, a lot of it. Instead, they'll go to places like the Corazon Day Center for a few hours of warmth and a hot meal. They're homeless because this is a lifestyle for them. They've been homeless for five to ten years. So when it's uncomfortable out, like it is for us, um, that's usually when we can make something happen. Today they opened earlier and stayed open later than normal to give people a break from the cold. Sleeping bags. For overnight shelter, Diane Talbert with Communities Under the Bridge is opening up their sanctuary as an emergency warming shelter. The um, way we lay them out and depending on who attends, whether they're, they have handicap aids or something with them, uh, we can fit anywhere from 60 to 90 people in there. Do this one first. It's first come, first serve. Once they fill up, they'll help take people to other shelters. Because the cold weather is expected to continue, Corazon Day Center will open up again around 7 a.m. tomorrow. Talbert says they'll be keeping their eyes on the temperatures tomorrow. If it's below 35 degrees, communities under the bridge will open up again as an emergency shelter overnight. Live downtown, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.